Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a Jeep Commander in the shop with a 5.7. I will be making a video on this guy, so look out for this video. It should be on my channel already if I haven't uploaded it yet. So what happens on these is your variable valve timing solenoids are under the intake manifold and what happens is they tend to fail. Now you got four of these guys in here. You got one here, two there, three there, and the fourth one is supposed to be right here. Uh, currently I'm exhibiting a bit of an issue. Now this video is going to be more of a rant on how engineering these cars is absolutely the worst nowadays. So as you guys can see, these are metal uh, VVT solenoids. Um, now let me show you what happens when they break. So I want to go ahead and replace this one. And you guys can clearly see right here that it's broken. But if you look at the top of these, they're made out of metal, guys. And then you go down here, why is half of it made out of plastic? Now that we're at the bench, what I want to show you is that I'm using a brand new Mopar solenoid. Now these are all the same uh, according to the dealer and they do tend to look the same. So I'm pretty sure they're all the same. So if you do this, this is the part number you're going to need. It's four of them. Get these from the dealer guys. Don't buy cheap ones. Uh, they're not too horribly priced. But anyway, getting back to my rant. So this is a brand new solenoid guys. As you guys can see, nice and shiny. It's metal. And then the bottom portion of it is plastic. And if you guys can kind of see, it may be a little difficult, you'll notice that the plastic is just crimped onto the metal solenoid. Now, I'll go one step further because I have, as you guys can see here, several of these. Uh, this is how they break off and they come off. And what happens, as you guys can see, this is the solenoid portion of it. And the plastic is just crimped onto these little tabs that you guys can see are pushed in. Now, you're probably wondering, hey, where's the other half? Well, they get stuck inside the engine like you guys just saw. So let me show you the halves that are broken. Now, these are the halves that are broken. Um, like I said, all they are is crimped onto these little tabs and that's why they tend to fail. Uh, these get stuck inside the engine bore where they live in simply because, you know, all the heat cycling and everything that goes on there, they have a tendency to get stuck. They are a three O-ring design. So you got one, two and three O-rings, so it will stick. Uh, you know, just the nature of how it is. Now, the way you get these off, and you guys will see in the video, is at least my method. I put a screw here in the middle that's just a little bit bigger than the diameter that's in there. And I put it in about halfway. And then once the screw is in there, I grab a tool and I just kind of gently start pulling up. And normally what I'll do before I do that is I'll try to spin it inside the bore with you know, some sort of tool to try to keep it moving. Normally like a screwdriver kind of knocking it sideways. As long as it'll spin, you can grab your screw that you've inserted and just kind of pull up on it gently and they should pop up. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is just these engineers are just ridiculous when it comes to this. Like, I know this is a common thing and everyone will uh, be experiencing this, you know, sooner or later. But engineering to me, especially on these cars, it's just horrible. Chrysler has a really bad way of doing this. Um, I've done solenoids like this from Toyotas and other various manufacturers. Um, they do use the same style. They are a little bit longer, but normally it's a metal case crimped onto a metal case, not plastic. This is the first time that I've encountered plastic ones. Um, the engineering is just a total fail. Like Chrysler, you get an F on this one. Engineering failure at its maximum limits. Um, it just makes it impossible to get out and if you're doing this DIY and you happen to break one in there uh, You know, you can get really freaked out because sometimes they will fight you uh, just show you an example This is my screw now if you guys look in there I want to screw it in and that center tab broke out on one of them and the hole got even bigger And then what I was able to do is just take you know, these are uh, concrete screws I kind of pushed this in at an angle got it in there and then just was barely able to wedge it up um, that one took me about 15-20 minutes just to get out because, like I said, the normal way where I screw this in and gently pop it up didn't work on that one. So just be mindful of this, guys. Um, so either way, that's my little rant. Um, these solenoids are horrible. Uh, they shouldn't be made out of plastic or half plastic and half metal. Come on, Chrysler, get your engineering game up. You know, do this correctly because it's getting harder and harder and more difficult to do these. And in the event that something were to break on this plastic and go inside the engine, you know, you could be looking at some engine damage, guys.
So that's pretty much it. Uh, just Chrysler has really bad engineering when it comes to this. And it's not just Chrysler. It's a bunch of manufacturers out there. This is just the one that I have in the shop. So I'm calling them out on this one. Um, that shouldn't be half plastic and then half metal. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, if you like my content, if you like and subscribe the channel, it'll definitely help my channel grow and I can make more awesome content for you guys. But I got to finish this job and uh, I'm currently shooting this video for you guys. So I'll probably send out these two videos around the same time so you guys can see it, um, you know, back to back. So with that said, guys, have a great day and I'll catch you on the next repair.